inadequate boarding facilities for pupils with special needs is discouraging parents from enrolling their wards, denying them access to education. The headmistress of the Abum School for Special Needs in Cape Coast wants stakeholders in the educational sector to construct more boarding facilities to increase access to education for children with special needs. The Abom School for Special Needs in Cape Coast was established by the German Agency for Technical Cooperation, GTZ, under a five-year project to support special education in the metropolis. In 2008, the school was handed over to the Ghana Education Service. It currently has a student population of 147, which comprises pupils with intellectual disability, Down syndrome, autism, cerebral palsy, and attention deficit disorders. The school has only three classrooms, seven, the entire population of 147. As a result, getting the attention of pupils during instructional hours becomes difficult. We have only uh, three classrooms. But the children are very numerous, so it becomes very difficult to categorize them into their smaller groups. But because of uh, challenges in the facility, uh, we put many of the children in one classroom. And the classrooms too, it is very hot for the children. So along the line, when around to up that way, they, you can't get their attention. Due to the lack of a boarding facility, some pupils in the metropolis and beyond are unable to attend school. The challenges we are having now is people come from other districts, uh, KE, Asin area, Gomwa. When they come and we tell them that it is a day school, they become very worried and they don't know where to send their children. If we can get a boarding, in addition to the day school, it will help those who are coming from the far places. Enrollment is 147. When we count the number of children here now, they will not be up to 100 because of transportation. Even those with cerebral palsy, taxi drivers find it difficult to pick them to school. Some of them become afraid when they pick them. But if we should have our own bus, that difficulty will not be there. Despite these challenges, the pupils are making progress in learning. Emmanuel is a pupil with special needs. He has a unique talent. We are calling for your help and for education. People southwest, east and north. Thank you and God bless you now. His teachers are assessing his progress. If he's able to improve, he will join mainstream pupils in a regular school. All of a sudden, he decided to come back to the special school because he feels at home when he's in the special school. So we are still preparing him to go back to the regular. Grace Ofori is a special education coordinator for Cape Coast Metro. Special education is free. It's like... Uh, any other school, public school. But at times, the parents are so poor that even, even the uh, soap, even soap or gari, they can buy. So at times, we invite them to bring the children to school and some of the teachers take care of their basic needs. They should bring their children to school, no matter what. Yes, we have the Abun Special Schools, we have the Cape Dev, then we have Ghana National Inclusive. There are teachers who look after them very well. So if they are not academically sound, they can use their hands to do something. There is the need to support special education in the country to enable children with special needs achieve their purpose. Bosha Gabo, TV3 News, Cape Coast Metro. <laughs> 
That's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU.